Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, uh, the best strategy for the beginner traders. So when we are a new trader, we always look for that best strategy, you know, which can give us, uh, uh, you know, the best of the best uh, win rate with the best risk reward. So, you know, in this video, we are going to talk about uh, such a strategy. So now I have considered these uh, below points uh, to consider that uh, strategy like, uh, you know, uh, you know, the strategy should be easier to uh, uh, understand uh, so like the strategy should be easier to understand and uh, it should be like uh, the trend following the tr strategy should be going with the trend and it should work on uh, every market and pair. So like you are trading Forex, crypto, stock market, <clears throat> it should work on every market and every pair. So whether you are trading gold and Euro USD, Euro JPY, G G GPP JPY, GPP USD, whatever it is. So it should also be having a higher win rate and uh, you know good risk reward. So by considering all these points, now I'm going to talk about the strategy. And now let's uh, talk about the strategy. The strategy is the pullback strategy and what exactly the strategy is. So like uh, to trade, the, I will talk about what exactly the strategy is. But to trade that strategy, we have to consider these points. That, uh, okay, first of all, we should be having a trending market. The price should either be making higher, high, higher, low, or it should be making a lower, low, lower, high, right? Then it should be a high volume session where the London session, session where we have the high volume, right? We should be trading this strategy at a, you know, high volume session. So we are going to trade this strategy only on the 30 minute and one hour time frame because we are talking about intraday uh, Forex trading. So then we will talk about the entry, exit and the trade management. So we are going to talk about all these points. Now, let's see what the strategy is basically. So like, as I mentioned, so either we should be making, you know, as I mentioned here, either we should be making higher, high, higher, low, or we should be making lower, low, lower, high. So suppose we are making higher, 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 low. So we created a high. After that, the price came down. We created a low, which is higher than the previous low. Then what happens? We broke the previous high and created a higher high, right? Then what do we have to do? We are The price is coming down and we are going to create a higher low which is higher than the previous low, right? So now in this situation, when we say that the market is trending to the upside, we are in an uptrend and basically we are making higher highs and higher lows. So what we have to do, we have to wait for the price to break the previous high and create a new high. Once we do that, we just have to wait only for the price to come down and make a support if the price is trending to the upside. In the uptrend, wait for the price to break the previous high and let it create a new high, then wait for a pullback and a support formation to take long in order to target the previous high. This is going to be the strategy in an uptrend. And if we are trending to the downside, we are making lower lows and lower highs. So suppose, you know, we are making low, lower high, lower low, and lower high. In this kind of situation, when we know, suppose we come to the market and we find that, okay, the market is trending to the uh, downside or we are in a downtrend. So we just have to wait for the price to break. You know, let's wait for the price to, uh, you know, break the previous low and let it create a new low. Once we create a new low, just wait for a pullback and a resistance formation somewhere. Once that happens, take your trade in order to target the previous low created. So now I will take you know some market example to show you exactly with the candles so how we are going to take the trade and how we are going to, uh, you know, how we enter and how we will exit. So now this is about the strategy. Now let's go to, uh, uh, you know, some examples which I'm going to show you. So now here we can say that, okay, so as we can see, you know, the market is trending to the, you know, downside here. So we could see that, okay, this was, uh, you know, low. So price just, uh, you know, broke this low, created a new low, right? After that, so what we have to do, uh, what I mentioned that we are in a downtrend, we are making lower lows and lower highs. So once we break the previous low and create a new low, just wait for a pullback. So price made a pullback and created a resistance. So once this bearish candle closed, we formed a resistance in a downtrend below the previous resistance. So in this situation, we have, we are now ready to take our trade. And so what we have to do, we just have to basically wait for the new candle. So what do I mean by that? So like when the new candle open up, wait for the price, wait for the new candle to open up and let it make the top. Once we made the top, we can start flipping to the downside. We are going to enter the trade here. 
and our stop loss is going to be you know it can go above the previous candle high or it can go above the current candle high as well because now we are in a high trending session we are in a downtrend we are in high volume time so now because after creating a top week we anticipate the price to go down and retest the new low created we are not anticipating the price to come up so we can keep our you know stop loss above the current candle high or above the previous candle high so as we could see after that you know the price came down and retested the previous low so that is something also we can see that after breaking the previous low we created a new low and then you know what we had to do we had to wait for the pullback so we made another pullback and after the pullback what happened at the previous resistance we closed another bearish candle so basically we created another resistance so once this resistance is created we are again ready to take the trade so what we have what we have to do we have to wait for this new candle to open up let it create the topic and once it start flipping to the downside we have this whole week to fill and this uh, new low to read that so basically we are going to take our trades here once the candle start flipping bearish we can keep our stop loss above the current candle high or above the previous candle high because we are not anticip anticipating the price to go above and break here you know the current candle high so as we can see the price moved very smoothly as well so this one is going to be example now we will talk about uh, another example as well so now let's uh, talk about uh, this example so here we can see that you know price created a low after that we came up created a resistance so here also this could be the opportunity but this happened in the like asian session so again you know once this uh, resistance created we could take our trade based on you know on this candle so we created a low so after that what happened so basically you know we created a low here and then we waited for a pullback so price made a pullback and at the previous resistance you know we close bearish candle. So once this happened, we were ready to take the trade and we could take our trade on this candle. Once we made the top week, the stop loss could go above the current, this previous candle high and we could take our trade to retest this previous low. Also, we can, you know, if we are not taking our trade here, so what we could wait, we could wait for the uh, price basically to close below this support because we could see that we have a support here. Once this candle closed bearish, Below this support, we could take our trade on this candle. So once this candle open up, create this top week, and once this candle start flipping bearish, we could take our trade in order to target, uh, you know, this low. So as we could see again, you know, we broke the previous low, created a new low, and after that again, we waited for a pullback. We waited for a pullback. Price created a resistance below the previous resistance. So once this resistance created by closing bearish candle, we could take our trade in our stop loss could go up above the previous candle and we could take our trade in order to target uh, the previous low. As we can see, the price moved very smoothly to the downside. So so that's it, guys. This was the strategy. I hope you enjoyed uh, uh, this uh, video. So if you really did like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel in order to support the channel and YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. See you in another video.